this year to try to increase the, uh, the level of participation if we could so we made a bunch of changes to the people's choice um, since CCNA no longer exists and we're not a club um, we decided that the way to grow our ranks would be to try to get other people non citro and non previous club members involved in the voting process to try to get them to look at the cars 
So we uh, we increased, uh, made a significant increase to the number of categories for voting uh, because we are getting more examples of each model. And it, you know, we're, we're in this year we have uh, we have a couple of Dianes. We had a, a new I mean eight show up this time that I'd never seen before. We actually have two visas here this year. So uh, we thought it would be nice to uh, to have more categories uh, that it would encourage people to look a little more closely at the cars. And we uh, you know we had Carlisle events make announcements throughout the course of the day to try to uh, make it clear to people that they didn't have to own the Central and, and they didn't have to be a member of any club to vote in our People's Choice uh, Awards selections. Um, so we haven't counted the ballots yet. Technically, the cutoff time for the ballot was 3 o'clock, but I left the box there for a while thinking that we may have a few last minute uh, ballots cast. But um, I, as I was saying to Brad, um, since we don't have uh, CCNA anymore, I think we need to try to think of and develop uh, new ways to sort of cast off the shackles, if you will, and do new things. So, if you have an idea uh, for something that you'd like to see uh, happen here, uh, you have to let us know. Um, you can email Brad or me or call us or get in touch with us one way or the other and let us know if you have an idea. If you have an idea for a seminar uh, for next year and I'm sure there are any number of people here today that are perfectly qualified to do a seminar on their own. I know we have some experts in the audience, and uh, I'd be delighted. I mean, we would be delighted to have to have more people involved to take part. Um, one of the things which came up uh, after uh, this event last year, we had a silent auction, and. Um, I told anyone, uh, I, I, I told any number of people, but I didn't make a general announcement. Um, and it seems as though there may have been uh, a misunderstanding on the part of some people that that money was going back to uh, CCNA, uh, to the treasurer of CCNA. That didn't happen. I told uh, any number of people last year, I tried to tell as many people as I could that whatever money we took in, we would use to support this event. So that's what we did. That money did not go to CCNA. It did not go to the treasurer. Um, I was uncomfortable with the uh, whether or not the club was going to survive. Communications weren't very good, and I just wasn't comfortable handing that money over. So we kept it, and we took in. Um, 500 and some odd dollars last year at the uh, silent auction, which was great. Uh, we um, we spent not very much last year. I mean, last year we when we started out, we didn't have. Uh, we started out with no money because CCNA didn't provide us any funds, so we were just trying to wing it and get donations. We, but we did spend some money. We spent about a hundred dollars last year, uh, give or take. And this year, um, we haven't really added up what we've spent yet. Uh, Brad and I have both spent money on things. Uh, but all that money, all, all those expenses will be covered by the money that we took in last year uh, from the, at the silent auction. So we're hoping to do a silent auction this year and We'd like to be able to uh, to have uh, to co be able to cover our expenses at this event, and we try not to do anything too elaborate here. But we would like to be able to try some new things and and not start out with a zero uh, a fund, which is what we had to do last year. Uh, and uh, one of the things that we'd like to be able to do is to uh, share to be able to make a donation to Drive She Said Rendezvous. Um, there was a time when CCNA was uh, uh, 
in good financial uh, standing, and CCNA used to make a, a donation annually to that event. We'd like to be able to do that again. Um, so, you know, we would be able to do that from uh, from silent auction money here this year. So, uh, if anybody has any questions about that, you're welcome to talk to me about it. To be very truthful with you, there's not a whole lot going on at the car show on Friday except the, the flea market, but there are so many things to see and do in this area that I could set up a tour for Friday afternoon if there's interest in it. So please, please let me know, let Les know if there's anything that we can do to, a, to improve this in the future. Uh, that's what we're here for. But. Uh, uh, I think that's all I have to say. Please be at dinner by 6.30, a quarter to 7, and bring your appetite. We'll have a lot of great food. Les, is there anything else you want to mention? 15th, 16th, and 17th in Saratoga Springs, and I have forms. And it's open to anyone. You can even come in a Toyota, or you can come in a Simca. Which I don't think you have a Simca. We're all trying to get Peugeot and Renault people to come, and Simca people, and anyone to come and bring something interesting. Oh, so okay. uh, if anyone needs a form, yeah. Excellent. Thanks. Since um, CCNA doesn't have a newsletter anymore because the club is gone, Citroën V is a magazine that anybody can get. Um, it's free. If you want to go and sign up on their website, we have some pieces of paper on the uh, up at the tent up there, which gives the address to sign up. So it's a really great, um, I don't know, it's like 38 page long newsletter, mostly Citroen, covers all clubs and all events. Anybody that wants to write something about any club or event, uh, they'll be happy to uh, put it in there. It's a, there's a lot of also historic stuff that they write about. So. It's free if you want to get the uh, low resolution email version. It's 15 bucks if you want to get a high resolution email version and also access to their website, which gives you access to all the behind the scenes stuff and archives. And if you want something to, to take into the bathroom with you and read, it's 60 bucks. <laughs> so um, it's a really great thing. I hope you'll sign up for it, especially because it's free.